I'm gonna tell you the pros and the cons of attending a private university versus a public. Let's go. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and y'all already know that I attended two different types of schools. I attended a private university called Chapman University and a top public university called the University of Washington or AKA UW. Oh my God, I need it. <coughs> If you guys want to know why I transferred, I'm going to go ahead and comment that down below in the box. And that's just a whole nother story. Let me just prep you for that. But yes, I did go to two different types of universities and the experiences that I just had were just completely beyond me. And both of my experiences were so, so different. So today I'm going to tell you the pros and the cons of attending a private university versus a public. Let's go. So there's like really no sugar coating it. I just thought that like in private school, I just had better interactions with my profs. I had a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time, mentorships. Um, the, honestly, the professors didn't seem like they were as stressed as like compared to a public university when they're just like trying to manage like 600 kids and 20 different TAs. And I didn't really have a TA in Chapman for like biology and like your chemistry courses. And it was just simply like the professors like themselves. Um, but it was like really good to get that alone time. Y'all know what I mean? Like for example, like I took my intro to like chem um, and actually both like universities and uh, you know, I actually felt like that the experience that I had at Chapman, um, the professors just like checked in with you a lot more in the class and they could just have like a better radar of where everyone was at. But like when I was at UW, it was really, really hard to see that, especially when you have like 500 kids surrounding you. But like with the curve and all, like it's really just the same for all STEM classes. Another pro for you guys it was actually a lot easier to get letter of rex let me just set the tone straight like when i was working with these like profs it didn't feel like a challenge to me i didn't need to have to go through all these hoops and schedules just to build a relationship with them and, and then when it came down to applying to all those like goody like scholarships and like internships it just made the process like 10 times easier like and i feel like i couldn't really do that at the uw either like i was still competing against like 30 kids like in my section versus like 15 in the class total um, at the at, at the private university okay here's a con for you guys depending on the university there might be not that much diversity as compared to like a public state school like uw where i went to but you might find more diversity in like bigger private colleges like nyu or usc and this kind of goes to like my biggest pro for like going to a public university the diversity diversity was Oh my god. Oh my god. It was just amazing. I found so, 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 so many of my friends that were coming from all over the globe and it just like attracted the most like diverse group of kids ever. Like all my dorm mates were like from like Singapore, Egypt, China, LA. Well, I mean, that's like not as diverse, but like whatever. But like you would only find a community like that in college. And that's what I absolutely loved. Another pro that I liked about going to UW was that it was a lot, lot cheaper for me. And I know that a lot of kids choose their college decisions based off price. And that is totally fine because debt is literally no jokester. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up unless you're coming from out of state and then that's a little bit different so UW as like a top public like university was absolutely great and a lot of those kids were like pumping out into like Amazon Microsoft if you already don't know um, Amazon and Microsoft headquarters is based here in Seattle also have like Tableau T-Mobile the first Starbucks you know the first Starbucks store and the headquarters is here too and I'm pretty sure Costco is here too so yeah like the tech place is like absolutely like booming here okay con um, so yeah, it just makes it a little bit harder for you to like meet your professor here at UW. Um, but they're still available and you just have to make yourself available. And I would probably also say that it's a lot easier to get research opportunities and scholarships um, at a private university. But again, that's kind of like the price that you're paying off for it. And at UW, I wouldn't necessarily say that it's a lot harder, but I think that because it's publicly funded, there might not be that many research opportunities and the competition might be a little bit more scarce. But you guys, there's also a lot of things that are very similar between the two, right? You will have the same amount of clubs, the type of clubs, right? You will have your LGBT clubs, you'll have your first gen clubs you'll have um your um all these like clubs that you can like think of your robotics club engineering math 
poetry, you will you will find that everywhere. And so the million dollar question is, is the education the same? And honestly, like for the most part, I'd probably say yes. Like the content is different. The chemistry that I learned from both places, it was absolutely pretty much like the same word for word. But like there were things that you had to like keep in mind of, right? Like the approach of the education was different. So for example, if the testing that was done, the staffing, you know, the students are more or less the same. Like you'll probably like find the most, like you'll probably still find like your down to earth kids and like your jocks and like the horny ones, but it's like all there for you. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope this has answered a lot of your questions. If you guys have more questions, feel free to comment all of those questions down below where I can see them. But that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just to like and subscribe, comment down below what you, like, what you guys like to see next and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye.